Hi, welcome to this lesson. This song is all about groove. Here's groove one. One, two, three, four. Here's groove two that you can use on the verse and the other parts of the song. One, two, three, four. And this groove to you that will also take a look that you can use on the pre chorus and the chorus. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's start analyzing what's going on in this song. We have just four chords, so the harmony is pretty simple. Just G, and you can play with fingers 3, 2, and 1. We'll just use the second string, the third string, and the fourth string, okay, on these four chords. So G major, just slide until the seventh position, and B minor, fingers 3, 1, and 1. You can play the first string if you like, it will also sound good. Uh, then slide back two frets, and A major, fingers 3, 2 and 1, just as the G, two frets above, and then another minor chord, here on second position, fingers 3, 1 and 1, okay? So get used to these chords on the left hand, once again, G major, B minor, A major, and F sharp minor. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. The main difficult it's on the strumming pattern on the right hand and the coordination of both hands. So let's take at let's take a look at groove number one, which is a kind of intro adapted for the guitar, which is the simple one, and maybe it's a good start for you. Okay, so uh, follow the tab. Don't forget that the table means to pick down, strum down, and the V means an upstroke. Okay, so table it's a downstroke and V. That signal, it's an upstroke. So the first groove, it's dun dun, da dun dun. Okay, it's pretty simple. Just downstrokes. Uh, let me simplify and try to play along with me. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Another thing that you have noticed is that um, we have one bar on G, one bar on B minor, one bar on A, and half bar on A, and half bar on the F sharp minor. Okay? And we have four bars on this uh, complete sequence, as you have noticed. So G, one bar, four times, B minor, one bar, four times, A, one bar, four times, more, two times, and two times here on the F sharp minor. Okay? So you have to divide the groove these four chords as I have just shown you right now. Uh, another thing to notice is that the dash notes means that you have to press the chords to play the chords and that uh, X means that you have to play a ghost note. Okay, The other signals are pauses uh, on standard notation. Standard notation signals. Okay, so here's once again the groove one which is pretty simple. Try to play along with me. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So now let's take a look at groove number two that you can use all through the song. In fact, that um, uh, fifth note you can ignore it or you can play it and also you hear some variations on the fourth beat kind of uh, reminds me of Daft Punk get lucky okay so let me simplify 
One of the most things, uh, one of the most important things is that you just relax your right hand and practice really slow and try to coordinate the left hand with the right hand. So let me simplify this really, really slow. One, two, three, four. Even slower. Three. Just the first beat, okay? And one more beat. Okay. And now the complete sequence. Three, four. Of course, I did some variations that you can you also do. Okay, don't forget that. Once again, three, four. Now let's take a look at groove number three that you can hear in the break chorus, in the chorus, and you can use on the other parts, which is a more busy rhythm. Uh, it has more sixteen notes, as you can see. Da da da. You have to accentuate that notes on the third beat, okay? And the, the first one on the fourth beat. That notes on the second beat is to play, it's just ghost notes, don't play them very accentuated. So, one, two, three, four. Now, groove number three. One, two, three, four. So just the first beat, slowly, okay, play, mute, and play once again on the abstract, then three ghost notes, okay, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, and two passing notes, two ghost notes to go to the next chord, okay, accentuate this three note, I mean, I mean this, and then move to the next chord. Really slow. Three, four. Just this uh, not easy song uh, concerning the right strumming pattern. So play really slow at first, um, isolate the rhythmic uh, figures, and then try to put everything together and have fun playing this song. Bye, greetings from Portugal, and please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at my other videos. Bye, see you.